from San Diego and I'm one of the penguin keepers here in the penguin encounter. One of the biggest parts of the breeding season is the incubation portion. Some penguins, they can lay one or two eggs depending on the species. We would put it inside these incubators. If a penguin lays an egg that for some reason is infertile, we can give them a dummy egg right here and they can make all the mistakes they want in the dummy egg. So hopefully next year they'll figure it out and they can raise a chick uh, all by themselves. Here's a very very special thing that a lot, not a lot of people get to see. So we're gonna candle this egg and see what's on the inside. Turn this on. Now you can see that this egg is a brand new egg. So there's no chick growing in it right now. This is the yolk. This is where the baby chick's going to grow. And that's actually the food for the chick. Back in the olden days, they used to use a candle in a box and that's why it's called candling. This egg is a lot different. The light doesn't shine all the way through. When you see this dark line, you can tell that that's where the chick is starting to develop and grow. And this chick should hatch out in about 14 days. The air cell, that's where the chick is gonna peep. And peeping is when they break that membrane inside, and pipping is when they chip through the shell. That's where they take their first breath of air. We're gonna put it into our hatcher where it's going to be a little higher humidity, a little lower temperature. When this egg hatches out, that's when the hand rearing team comes in. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at SeaWorld San Diego. Bye-bye now.